So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in play streaming video at a low resolution. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to turn on save network bandwidth by playing video at low resolution. You want to turn this on and then see if this fixes your problem. But if you don't want to do this, you can just turn this off and we'll go to the second method. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find your network adapter. You want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on Internet protocol version 4. You want to make sure that obtain that IP address automatically has been selected and that obtain DNS server address automatically has also been selected and I click on OK. And now for the third method, you want to head over into your web browser and click on the three dots in the top right, scroll down and then click on settings. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down to the very bottom and then click on about your web browser. So in my case, it's going to be about Chrome. Make sure that your web browser is fully up to date. It's going to start updating automatically for you. If that's still not working, you want to scroll up to you see privacy and security or a messy history for you. You want to scroll down and click on delete browsing data. You want to change this to advanced and then make the time range all time. And then you can untick everything, but keep cookies and other site data and cache images and files both checked. You can uncheck everything if you want to and then click on delete data. See if this works for you. And now for the next method, you want to click on the three dots on the top right and then click on extensions and then click on manage extensions. If you have any extensions that you think may be causing a problem or any extensions that you recently installed, you want to remove them. So click on remove. And now you just want to either restart your web browser or just restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed.